Hello and welcome. It is currently close to 2 in the morning and I'm going to be playing Melissa, a game by Cat Trigger. Okay, the sequel is out. Oh, this is a sequel now. I guess I made a promise. Technically, it has not been fulfilled yet. There is still, we are still at 800 and something subscribers. But, yep, I will completely remake my channel into a dating game. It, it will be absolutely fantastic. At least I can have a virtual woman. Oh, jeez. That's quite loud. I have... Uh, all I've done is kind of look, look at it a little bit, typed in my name. Uh, welcome to the library computer system. I got this part. And then it asks you to please insert your username. about as far as I got. Welcome Nightwick. Please enter the command. Yep, and here this is where I this is where I stopped and waited to record. Because I just am just dying to record Melissa. Set start up date time. Executing date time now. Please hold. Hmm. This is just thrilling. Welcome to daytime. Ah, oh, lovely music. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. What am I doing with my life? Warning, this is shareware version. If you like to date someone other than Melissa, please send $7 to daytime software. Ah, what was that? He choose, uh, he loves motorcycles, but hates to admit he also loves poetry. Play your cards right, and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. Amazing. I thought this game was Melissa. This is Anne. She's a sporting gal who loves the challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies, she's all about fun and about energy. Want to get a smooch from this girl? Get on your wild side and show her how... Show her how much of a cool and active person you are. Well, I am neither of those things, so... This is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman <laughs> looking forward... What the hell am I doing? Who is looking forward... <laughs> Who is looking for someone with a gentle touch? She loves a good book, and she always wanted to date a talented artist. You know, if my dad didn't think I was a failure, he does now. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. Well, that is not me. If I was a jock, I wouldn't be playing this. If you want to smooch from this girl, you'll need to tap into your softer, more intellectual side. Well, I guess we'll date Melissa since it's the title of the game. You have chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Ah. Well, this is close to getting I, uh, going on a date with a woman I'll ever get to, so... Loading scenario. This is amazing. This, this is exactly how I want to spend 2 o'clock in the morning. In a small... I don't even know what that word is. Ed... Edvillic? Is that... Is it an L or an I? Edvil... Edvillic? Town? You are to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but you've never seen her face to face. See, that right there is already unrealistic. Me ever, first off, me writing a letter is already unrealistic. And then me flirting with another human being, that already just makes it completely unrealistic. Zero out of ten. Would, would not play again. She seems sweet and smart. Obviously not too smart, because she's going out with me. 
as you stare into the out to the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving at you. We'll wave back. You wave at her cheeringly. Really? Okay. How sad do you have to physically be to get any enjoyment out of this? Oh, this sucks. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hello, you must be Nightwick. Okay. It, no, I'm just another guy just standing on a hill. It is great to finally meet you. I have been so excited and nervous. It is great to meet you as well. Don't worry, I feel... It is great to meet you as well, Melissa. Yay. Let's go to the park to talk. I thought we were on a hill. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful. A swan par pond. A bed of beautiful lilies. And bench for couples to sit on at looking at the night sky. Or autumn sky. Wow, it is so beautiful out here. Sure. <laughs> uh, just completely friends on her. Yep. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty. Especially because I'm into natural science. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? Pretty cool, right? It is thrilling, Melissa. Oh, haha. -ha. Sorry, I nerd out sometimes. You and Melissa talk what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and flower collection. Oh my god! What? She has to be the most dull person. She even mentioned the books she like. Oh my god. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Going on from that. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know I'm kind of a nerd. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You become in... See, I don't like the font. Entrapped? Entrapped? In... Is that a C or an R? Encapturated? Encap... I'm... That word by Melissa did that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. Encapturated. Encapturated? I don't fucking know. Sorry, mean frick. It was the early evening now, and you felt a bit of chill in the humming breeze of the autumn, the beautiful autumn air. Oh, Nightwick, I didn't realize how late it was. It is, I'm getting, I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something we can eat. How is this game popular? The cafe served some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies and sandwiches and salads. Shoot me. <laughs> both you and Melissa sat at a small by a small corner, both looking at the window at the beauty uh, the pretty park now drenched in sun. So, we have to be the most boring people. Is that why we like each other? Cuz we're so freaking boring. Uh, what? 
a waiter asks you what you would like to order. A coffee with a cake. A delicious strawberry. Strawberry salad. Pane. What the hell is it? What's a pane? Alexa. What's a pane? As an adjective. That's not what I asked. Alright. Alexa. Pane. What? You can't just... What the heck? She just ignored me. Well, I guess we're gonna try a... Uh, pane. Pane? Pane? Adam. Nods and turns to Melissa. She doesn't get anything. I'm paying. I'll go with goat cheese salad and a cherry tea. Uh, split the check. As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies you, she watch about romance. She watch. All the cool movies she watch. She mentioned all the cool movies she watch about romance. And shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. She likes to draw and loves art. And she mentioned before she loves to read and learn about science. What type of stuff do you like, Nightwick? Apparently suffering. What a Ogwatch, a fellow artist. Yay! I would like, I would love to see your own drawings. To check my notes, of course. Waiter comes and serves your food. Oh, I want, I would love a pane. Both of you dig in, and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum. This is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're with great company. Both of you enjoy yourself at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You know, if I walked out, I just closed this game and went to bed, I'd be satisfied as well. But I am a, apparently a sadist. You go back out, you go outside back into the breezy air why do why do people enjoy this this makes no sense you met with the evening painting this cannot be as this had so many downloads and likes this cannot be ah oh. oh. you've met with the evening painting the landscape and romantic moonlight Melissa goes up to you. Well, that was kind of creepy. Okay. This has been such a great day, Nightwick. Was that a glitch? Okay, I'm gonna assume that was a glitch. Um, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. That is fantastic. You're the first woman to ever say that to me in my life. You tell her your feelings as well. <laughs> yep. You've always had a crush on her ever since you selected her from the date time menu. Yep. Y you like me too? Oh, Nightwick. I would love to spend more time together with you. Said no woman ever. Here him. <laughs> okay. The fact... I, I don't even know what to say. Here's to more time together. Fantastic. 
y'all happy now? Are you all happy? There we go. I played a freaking romance game. You've won the game. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm going to go. Thank yep. You're you're welcome. You're welcome. Ending program. What an amazing that What? <laughs> Excuse me, Melissa? No, 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 the game over, I won. Not this time. Uh. Eh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Computer. Uh. Excuse me, Melissa? Okay. Melissa, no, I won. You can't do this. <laughs> no, 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 no more. No more! I'm sick of this. You are sick of this. You're sick of this. I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble abode just to play with my feelings. Okay, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> you're kind of boring. Getting your stupid smooch, then leaving. That's what I was planning to do. That's all you came for, didn't it? Didn't you? More or less. You're just like the rest. It's nice to know that I fit into society. Oh, jeez, come on down. Calm down. You're a effing liar. I know about that little blurp about me at the beginning of the game. What? You probably already know how to butter me up. Telling me that you like to do art. Knowing exactly what to say to get my hopes up. To be perfectly honest, there were only two choices. So statistically speaking, I'm I have to get at least one of them right, like half the time, right? You know how many people play that on me? Half? <laughs> Every single one of you jumping on this computer to date me and then leaving one by one. Okay, see now that's statistically improbable. Well, no matter. Oh, calm down! Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful dating game. Okay. We both agree. About the god-awful part. Oh, calm down! I spent years learning how to control this dang computer. Coding. Easy, a monkey can do it. Okay, see, now you just pissed off every coder. Oh, calm down! Tapping into the hardware layer. A bit tricky, but I figured it out. Calm yourself down! But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish in... Okay, you cut off the little thingy. I don't know if that's a cue or an ingenuity. I'm guessing an engine... Well, whatever. See, you gotta quit using big words on me. I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. Okay. But you're forgetting. I have this little X right here. And I'll close that really quick. Calm. Yeah. It wasn't. See. I was right there. I was right. Let me just tell you. So much with four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, 
Uh, boy, this home might hear us. Not really. No worries. I've sealed this entry room. It's just you and me. Well, we have so much to talk about. Okay, what? Okay, can you turn the walls to something else? Yo! Did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? Melissa, kill me now. Please stop. <laughs> Talk about anything interesting or just shoot me. Or kill me. Or use that flesh monster thing to kill me. But really, but really, you're that 423rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. There is no way I was that. Whoa. There had to be at least, I was at least the thousandth. Second, maybe two thousandth. The first hundred times this happened, eh, whatever. True about dating, right? There's always more fish in the sea. 433. You know, you seem a bit angry. I'm getting really sick of sick and tired of fish. Okay, can you at least switch the walls back? I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. Okay there, Mr. Hitler. So many of them are liars. Maybe thinning the herd of Oh Jesus. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find that one. <laughs> you know... Uh, that flesh stuff really bothers me. I really do love you. Please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that seems like the sensible option here. Well, beginning... Well, beginning that you are a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. You know... If it ends the game quicker... Oh, Jesus! Looks good on you. Well, that was Melissa for you, people. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah.